You can do it, Sammy. You're so talented. I'm so proud of you. People don't realize how hard it is just being better than everyone else. It's so difficult being better than you. Okay, I'm obviously kidding, right? Um, I'm not special or anything. Uh, basically, I had to do this math test in grade four called the cat test. It was easy math, like one plus one, two plus two, multiplication tables, that kind of thing. Maybe simple algebra, I kind of forget. Like, you know, balance the five dogs and three cats. You know, what is a cat worth versus a dog or whatever. Algebra things. Um, but basically, if you score to the 99th percentile on this test, they're like, hey, he might be gifted. And then you do, like, more cognitive tests. Like, they had this one test where you had nine cubes. And on these cubes, they were multi-sided with different colors and shapes. And then you were given an image and you're like okay make this image out of the cubes and i was like go and you were timed and then i think you were rated on that too and they kind of measured if you were gifted or not out of these tests right um yeah basically i'm not special it's just something that happened uh you know if you're having an off day or something or you weren't trying you would have just been not certified as not gifted right it's just a blanket term and just real quick another thing i should mention is that any kid could be put into the gifted program if their parents wanted them to be in it right so you could have been like i think my kid is gifted let me put them in the program so there was that uh, but after elementary school if you were declared as gifted you were given the option to go to one of two gifted schools if you'd want to uh, i chose to go to wh ballard um and from there on, we had a sixth grade teacher, Mr. Shaben. And looking back, Mr. Shaben was awesome, like really awesome. Um, but we didn't appreciate him in the moment. Uh, but yeah, he would do things like teach us how to build websites, um, which I really appreciate because that was one of the first coding things I ever did. And I'm super into coding now. I'm in computer science. It is my thing. I'm really thankful of that experience. Uh, we also, he made the first robotics team, uh, basically like a Lego robotics competition, which was kind of awesome. Like you'd stay after school, build a robot to do like challenges and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. Um, we had like an around the world cooking uh, day where you got to bring in a recipe and just make something where someone made fajitas, which were the bomb. Um, I made like some potato things, scalp potatoes. It was kind of good. Um, honestly, probably one of the first times I ever cooked, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, he would do all sorts of things like puzzles and riddles like every day, something new. And he would just try to teach us differently. He would try to give us an unconventional approach. He would try to make us excited about learning, but we didn't appreciate that fully. I think that our underappreciation stemmed from outside of the classroom. Um, basically one day we decided to have a meeting. Mr. Shaven decided to have a meeting. Um, it was like a talking stick meeting. I think the Native Americans used like a talking stick to pass it around to give people turns to talk, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but basically we used a ball that would kind of transform and you catch it and like, okay, my turn to, to talk, right? Um, what we wanted to talk about that day was kind of how the rest of the school treated us differently, right? Because the thing about the school was that there were 
gifted classes and then there was non-gifted classes or whatever um so there it's kind of like this division right this divide and there was like some animosity and we kind of felt it like it was just a little weird you know and we weren't really mixed in that well um and we didn't get really get introduced and you know the people who went to this school it was from kindergarten to grade eight so they've known each other for the longest time and then or just kind of these new kids who showed up in grade six so there was that factor as well but we basically felt like outcasts and we felt really weird and we felt like we were treated differently um yeah and we just wanted to be normal you know we wanted to fit in we wanted to be friends with everyone around us uh, but it was just really awkward and in some semblance i feel like we didn't want to be gifted you know we didn't want to be different uh from everyone else and i think that's why we kind of underappreciated mr shaven because he want he taught us how cool things were to learn and how awesome it was to do things and go out of our comfort zone but we wanted to be in our comfort zone we wanted to fit in we wanted to be happy with the people around us i think after that meeting um and just after the events that happened afterwards we weren't as excited about learning anymore we didn't look forward to mr shaven's lessons um and how he pushed us to be better to to look at learning it's fun um we didn't want to learn we wanted to fit in and we just strayed as far away from that as possible i remember me and my friends we started seeing not trying as cool you know because trying and failing was sucky obviously so we were like uh we're not trying we're cool because we're not trying because people who try hard are sweaty ha 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 man that that's such a dumb outlook at life i can't believe you know i i did that ah I got into gaming, played lots of games. I think I have over 3,500 hours on Steam by now. It's too much, too much, too much gaming. Basically after grade six um, and the grade seven, it kind of got to be more normal of a classroom style. And then in grade eight, it was pretty normal. I still like my teachers and stuff, like awesome stuff, but it was kind of more like a normal, regular classroom sort of thing. And then in grade nine, when I got into high school, I remember seeing uh, the motto on the back of a t-shirt or on the poster or something and it was like my hard work beats your talent and I felt hella called out okay I was like ugh, because you know supposedly I had talent and I didn't try hard okay I didn't put effort into things so I was like frick what am I gonna do um but in grade 9 and 10 I kind of breeze through things because things in grade 9 and 10 are pretty easy relatively to the rest of high school really easy but as soon as i got to grade 11 and 12 some courses started to hit me where i couldn't just breeze through them anymore right um like i took uh functions advanced functions calculus bam 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 you know like Things started adding up and, you know, I was failing tests and messing up assignments and I really had to assert myself to try hard. I had to learn how important it was to study, to put in effort, um, and actually how cool it was to do so, right? You don't get anywhere in life by not trying hard. You don't get anywhere in life by just laying around not giving any effort but if you put in that effort you can get somewhere and i think it's really cool and i think it's an important lesson that i learned from my high school days um it's kind of sucky it took so long to learn but i learned it and i'm happy to have learned it um and yeah that sums up my high school experience looking back i probably squandered a lot of opportunity in grades six seven eight probably a lot of high school too but I learned my lesson and I hope they continue to improve the gifted program um, and really teach kids how cool it is to learn, how cool it is to try. I hope that they can do a better job of 
amalgamating the gifted class and the non-gifted classes. Um, you know, put them in the same gym classes, and the same French classes, the same art classes. Let them mingle, let them get to know each other, you know, humanize the whole experience. Or make it more clear to parents and kids that they can just drop into the gifted program if they want to. You know, put, make, of it, make it a less of a stigma, you know, make it clear that it's not like some crazy thing, you know? Um, or make it advanced classes that any kid could drop into, like make it really, really clear, something like that. And just focus on that human experience. Because it's cool to learn, but you also need to have a good environment around you to learn too. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, if you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know uh, if you were in gifted class or not. Just let me know what you think, if you had a similar experience. And yeah, talk to you later. Thank you.